2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. So here is Miami's starting group. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Adebayo is out there with Martin, and it's Butler in at the small forward. And for the Suns, Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Torrey Craig is out there with Durant, and it's Aiton in at the five down low. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even no. been to the playoffs in 10 years. So Phoenix will get the first possession. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. You know what happens, you start to miss a few. You develop a lack of confidence, and suddenly it becomes contagious. And there he goes, Booker, showing off the vert. In just four seasons, Phoenix Greg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable story. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. Adebayo against Booker, and that one is good. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. And it's the Suns' ball. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. Yeah, and they got beat last time these two teams met, and really, free throws were the story. Now, Hero, after Devin Booker missing on that last three-pointer. Adebayo finds Hero. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. Now, here's a... He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And his shot blocking helped as well. Those two blocks he had were big for them. Just five on the clock. Durant way outside. Tipped away. Well, it was Miami winning their last game against Los Angeles. Shot from 12. The shot will not fall. And it's Miami the other way. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Ball gets to Aiton. To the inside. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Aiton. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag and, and where's the help defensively no excuse you have to be aware he should be on your radar all the time here's Craig banked in off the glass as a distributor Paul is just a machine he's constantly creating for his guys yep that one goes in there Adebayo's got his second bucket tonight good way to start this game you want to get him rolling as early as possible and we know once he gets in the rhythm he's a really tough guy to stop now here's Durant this game he had 28 points and the Suns take on two more he handles like a point guard KD looks at ease running that pick and roll Hero passes to Lauer and Chris Paul picks up the foul that is his first foul of the game And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Pass to Aiton. Over Martin. And it's Aiton missing. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Outside hero. Come get it, come get it. 
Here's Martin, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Drake begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. Now here's Paul. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Aiton, nice fake with the layup off the mark. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. That one good for two. At 6'5", with the advanced skill set, Tyler Hero can easily be good defense. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Craig. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Heat leading by three. Outside, Hero. This is it to Lowry. Knocks down the three ball. This is what you get with Lowry. A confident shooter in these situations. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Booker dishes to Sharch. Oh, Aiton in position. It's stolen by Adebayo. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now here's Paul. He's gaming at 13. That one goes in. One offense, CP3 has the green light from anywhere. Even the mid-range is in his comfort zone. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And the Suns here with a different look. Sharp checked in for eight. Damian Lee comes in for Torrey Craig. Landry Shamit's checked in for Devin Booker. And it's Payne in for Paul. And a new group in for the Heat. Yurt Zabeni's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Oladipo comes in for Caleb Martin. Max Truss is checked in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lauer. Great open look there. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Heat leading by five. Baseline J on the way. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Here's Payne. His last outing, he had eight points. And there's a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Payne passes to Sharp. Sharks looking around. Lock at six. Out to the right wing. Payne gets a wide open look. Yeah, but, but the defense is doing a pretty good job of contesting those long-range shots. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Now Payne. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jimmy Butler. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. And with the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. And Phoenix has possession. Following the score by Miami. Here's Lee with the three. Victor Oladipo grabs the miss. The Heat leading by seven. Out left to the wing. Back to Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. What a physical play from Butler going for a dunk and jamming it right in on top of the defense. The Sun shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit cranky out there. The pass to Sharp. In the corner, Shamit with it. Hits the three-point bomb. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Pass to Vincent. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Vincent's got seven. 
matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now, here's Payne. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Out to Sharich. Fires from deep. Rebound by the Heat. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Shots good from Butler. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Suns trail by 11. Payne looking around. Launches a three, and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Miami holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll get right back to the action when we return. margin on the scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the heat they're unselfish they're passing the ball well setting up teammates playing team basketball and their focus and something else that I liked is how they attack the paint finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again ball and Booker the talented backcourt pair Corey Craig is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's KD in at the small forward. So that's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Now here's Lowry. Martin the pass to Autobio. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. To the paint. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Just terrific at executing in the paint. Aiton has a nice array of shots to choose from. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. Back to KD. Shot clock reset for Phoenix. Tries again. No good from Booker. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. They've led by as many as 11 points. And Oladipo has it in the corner. Back to Martin. He takes it in. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. The Heat making a switch here. Heroes checked in. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. Ball a screen on Hero. And here's Booker from the arc. Out of bounds. Suns ball as Phoenix keeps possession. From the inbound. You can see on plays like that just how hard it can be to shake Larry off you. Adebayo kicks to Struess. And it's sent back by P.D. Pass to Paul. 
here in the second quarter. We've played a little over two and a half minutes. Here. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Three shots. Three shots. Three shots. And he knocks down the first one. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Uh, Greg, what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. Well, I think it's a conversation. And, of course, one of the league's longest-tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame-level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian-American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. The shot's good. And it's seven points for Bam Adebayo. This guy is a gamer. Bam sinking the jumper with a hand in his face. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Trail by nine. Here's Paul. Here's Aiton. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Aiton's got his second bucket of the night. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Struz passes to Lowry. Oh, no good on the three to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And it's Aiton missing. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. Paul kicks to KD. Inside, and Aiton throws it down. And to this day, I still marvel at the skill level of KD. A player of his size able to navigate the pick and roll and deliver to a teammate. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Struess. He's tightly guarded. Hero, no good. Suns trail by five. Paul kicks to Booker. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. Here's Aiton. Makes it off the glass. Aiton's got eight points. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. And the Heat call time here. Miami. Yurt Zabini's checked in for Caleb Martin. Jimmy Butler comes in for Max Drews. And Vincent subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Well, we know how Tyler Hero is a bucket, but still lots of room for growth. Last season, the sixth man of the year winner. He really did struggle, though, in the postseason. He's off on the first. And Greg, you look at the playoff shooting percentages for Hero, tailing off from his regular season numbers. And Kevin, that's not uncommon for a younger player, but the playoffs are what matter. And to be a star, that's one you've got to deliver. It's tipped. They recover it. Lee outside. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got six rebounds here tonight. Passes to Vincent. Here's Butler. 
That's in coming off and this is from Adebayo. He's got eight. Often delivering as much punishment as he takes. Jimmy Butler with a nice finish through contact. Sharks with the screen for Payne. A three-pointer, no good. The Heat leading by six. Here's Vincent. Passes it to Autobio. Now, Hero. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That's his first foul. 13 foul. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. They're fortunate the defender couldn't control it. Almost lost that possession. Outside, Hero. And here's Adebayo outside. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Good to see Bam showing off some accuracy. That's not his favorite shot, but he drains it. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And then Sharp with the dunk. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Hero from long range. And again, Miami with the triple. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Charge with the screen for Payne. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Payne's got five now. Maxing baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Well, he'll run through a wall to win. But sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is worth it. For Miami, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. First one falls for him. And Greg, last season, Butler and Spolstra got into it on the sideline. We all saw it. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good way of phrasing it. Uh, that manic intensity, perhaps necessary at times for a player who competes as hard as Jim. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. Kicks it to Butler. Two minutes remaining. Over to the wing. Two minutes. Shoots from 12. And Adebayo gets it to go on the assist by Butler. Butler's got assist number five here tonight. Suns trail by nine. Phoenix calls timeout. Steve, Jimmy Butler is definitely a defensive difference maker. He is, Kevin. Back in the 2021 season, Butler led the league in steals. He is so committed to forcing you to make mistakes with the ball. Six left to play in the first half. Stolen by Yurtsevin. And Oladipo kicks to Buck. Over Lee. And there's another one for the Heat. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Vincent. And there's the drive. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal. And then bang! Straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Payne can't hit. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Adebayo passes to Butler. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Bam out of bio. Steve, what a force he's become over the years. Yes, Kevin. The impact really started once he became a starter. And you've seen his scoring go to the roof. Now here's Payne. He has five. Here's Sharp and Block. That one goes careening off the glass. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. And it's all adding up. And I love it whenever Oladipo gets tricky with it. 
putting on a show for everyone with that one. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam King. Lee gets the bucket. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Vincent the pass to Butler. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The pass to Lee. And Lee with the stuff. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shamit doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. Left block shot on the way. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for the Miami Heat. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Miami Heat. Their efficiency on offense jumping off the charts in the first half. They've been focused on getting quality looks, and they're shooting a high percentage because of it. No question they put themselves in a great position right now. And now a subject that's always of interest, player movement around the league. They just added one of the best scorers of all time in Kevin Durant. First of all, he can fit on any team in any system. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Bam Adebayo in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the pain. And, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? Force the defense to prove that they can stop it. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half. With. The wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Adebayo is out there with Martin, and it's Lowry in at the one. Here's Paul, following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Paul finds Durant. Ayton sets the pick for Durant. Suns keep it alive. Back to Ayton. Kicks it out to Paul. Second chance shot. And there's Ayton, and that's good on the assist by Paul. Paul's got three assists tonight. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. Now, while we've got a moment now uh, to see this year's three-point contest and how it's shaping up, let's take a look at some of the top candidates emerging as we see here some players who are likely to make the final cut. Not too shabby of shooters on this list, Kevin. you got to love the advancement and, and really the evolution of the three-point shot in today's game. Well, you look at Booker. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend, but you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, but especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. And so Butler nails both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. 
down low. And with that, the Heat lead has got down now to just 10 points with that basket from Durant. Three out of four coming out of the half, showing good execution on the offensive end. Lowry for three. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Durant's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the middle. Craig kicks to Booker. Back to Craig. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Aiden. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. And look at Aiden get up there. <laughs> Enjoy watching the big man. Getting tricky with it. And the Heat call time here. Has checked in for Butler. So a moment now to see the story for Caleb Martin. The Heat leading by eight. Right side hero. Struz passes to Autobion. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is where Bam goes to work, which in turn draws the D's attention. Both shots good from the strike. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Ball outside. Pass to KD. Let's it go with a three. Drills it from outside. Durant's got five points now this quarter. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, Hero. Stolen by Durant. On the wing, Booker. Oh, Aiton in position. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. And finally they hit one. Booker's got his second basket of the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Spruce kicks to Hero. Cranes the three-pointer. Set him up, he'll point. knock him down. Tyler was drafted largely for that dead-eye jumper. Booker against Hero. From deep. Again, the miss by Booker. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Struz passes to Hero. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Kevin Durant. Often viewed as just a shooter. Tyler Hero can score, though, in a variety of ways, which makes him very difficult to defend. Pass to Book. Outside for Durant. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Well, when KD asked out, he, he knew the Nets would get a King's ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen in decades. But with KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contending. Now, here's Craig. After Tyler Hero's miss. Inside. And with that, the Heat lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Durant. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Timeout called the Heat. And the Suns here with a different look. Sharp checked in for eight. Sharp comes in for Torrey Craig. Damian Lee is checked in for Kevin Durant. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. And then for Miami, Yurtsevin is checked in for Otto Bayer. Oladipo comes in for Tyler Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Payne with it. He's got five. It's good. Payne's got seven points in the game. 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Cruz, nailed from three-point land. And the Heat lead by six. Give him a lot of credit. He's always looking to be aggressive on the offensive end. Back to Payne. Here's the three. Another three for Phoenix. Something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Here's Oladipo. Uses the glass to finish the lane. He's got six. Just sheer determination. The contact was there, but Oladipo showing real toughness gutting through it. Payne finds Booker. Payne in the post. Over Vincent. Payne can't hit. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They led by as many as 18 points. Vincent the pass to Oladipo. Three-pointer. A shot that time, not on target. And Phoenix will come the other way. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Here's Sharp. And the wing jumper offline. Miami leading by five. Spruce with it. He's picked up by Lee. Good work there as it goes. Spruce has got his second basket of the night. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Lee outside. Payne passes to Sharp. And then Sharp with the dunk. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Spruce with it. He's guarded by Booker. Spruce kicks to Mark. Buries it from three-point range. Martin's got eight. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Booker looking around. Dishes it to Sharnish. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got five assists in the game. Vincent the pass to Struth. And again, Miami with the triple. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Phoenix calls timeout. And as fans timeout. and broadcasters, timeout. we're not permitted Sorry. to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Landry Shamit's checked in for Damian Lee. And then for Miami, Butler, he's checked in for Martin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Gabe Vincent. Shamit, the pass to Sharp. Now here's Payne, now recovering. Now here's Payne, he's got 10, clock at four. Shamit, and that one goes long. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Yurtsevin finds Lowry, and it's off from three-point range. Shamit, the pass to Book, one second separating the shot clock and game time. And that one, good. He's got six. Against Booker, a little contact usually doesn't go a long way. Strong body control there. The kick out to Oladipo. Offline with his three. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Heat lead by seven. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Hey, Coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Once we get the rebound, get to those corners, race for it, okay? What you're doing right now is you're making them have to defend. Well, Eric pleading with his guys, Greg, to be faster and be sharper than the other team. And if they do that, they'll be fine. Coach wants to tire the opposition out on defense. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Duran is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Aiton in at center. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Sun. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. 
Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Heat. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. And it's good for two. Autobio's got 22. The emergence of Autobio as a score. This franchise has to be ecstatic. Outside, KD. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. So much sharper, so much more efficient with his shot this half. Just taking what the defense allows. A deep three from Butler. Phoenix grabs the miss. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Paul kicks to Crane. Passes to Durant. And Adebayo sends it back. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. And Oladipo has it in the corner. And the three off target. Suns trail by six. Trey passes to Book. And he makes that one. And these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. At the top of the key, Lowry wants to get it to Adebayo in dark. And Adebayo throws it down. We've seen that from Lowry for a long time. A fantastic passer of the basketball. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And there's the pass to Ayton. Back to Booker. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And the three ball is good. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Butler attacking, and it's denied. And they recover it. That one drops for him. And the Heat lead by five. You know, great positioning there for Oladipo. Able to snag the offensive board and get the putback. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Here's KD. And it's Miami with the rebound. Butler's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the layup's good off the glass. Now it's a seven-point heat lead. The physical abilities of Jimmy Butler, wow. Using his power and speed to make plays inside. Now here's Booker. KD on the wing. Over Oladipo, and it's Durant. That time on the assist by Booker. Booker's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Heat leading by five. Hero passes to Butler. Now, here's Adebayo. He's covered by Aiton. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. Going to the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Now, Craig, after Victor Oladipo missed from long range, Craig kicks to Paul. Pass to KD. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Heat have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. Hero passes to Butler. He dishes it to Oladipo. Pass to Hero. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. Kayla Martin's checked in for Miami. Timeout call, the Suns. And you look at Adebayo. What a contribution. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys, I had a chance to listen to what Monty Williams discussed with his players. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. The Heat leading by three. Outside, Hero. Butler on the way. From the arc, Frank pulls it in. 
The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Passes it to Durant all alone. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. KD's got 25 points in the game. Trying to get something going. And there's the whistle on the shot. He took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Hero is a huge player for this team. A guy who does a little bit of everything out there. And Hero drops them both. Suns trail by three. Eight in a screen on low. Here's Paul. No good off the back of the rim. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Hero passes to Butler over Durant, and Durant sends it back. KD, 7 5 wingspan in action. Swatting that one away. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. That misses had a chance to tie it there. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Adebayo finds Martin. Here's Butler. It doesn't go either for Butler. He had it rolling and then lost it for some reason. Let's see if he can get it back while it still matters. From 13, and with that, the Heat lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Paul. I love seeing Chris Paul come alive on these possessions. He's an exceptional shooter who does not back away in big moments. Gotta like this. Tyler Hero finding a way to come up huge. Here's Paul after Tyler Hero's bucket. And Aiton throws it down. He is showing signs of maturity in these moments. And it's clear that Aiton takes pride in coming through for his team. And the Heat all time here. They're up by one. 152 left in the fourth quarter. And Miami making a change here. Oladipo's checked in. Booker against Hero. Good ball movement here by Miami. Lowry pitch to Oladipo. That ball is nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And that's 10 points for Victor Oladipo. Top, now recovering. It's stolen by Mark. And the pass to Hero. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ball outside. Eight in a screen on Martin. Here's Paul. He makes his own shot of the game. He has only missed four. He is a great kid. I I'd love to see this from a stepping up in the big moment, letting his talent take over. Oh, it And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. He'll have a jump ball. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Craig passes to Paul. Here's Booker. It counts. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Lowry kicks to Oladipo. Tyler Hero steps up and delivers big time. Timeout called the Suns. They're behind by one. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. the Suns with the ball. It's a one-point game. Durant count and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. 
I mean, no hesitation in the clutch. Scoring the ball is second nature to KD. Nice. In the veins right there. They're one stop away from winning this game. Here's Hero. Oh, off target. And now we've got the intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. I mean, the versatility of KD is tremendous. There's really nothing this guy can't do. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. Hero passes to Oladipo. And stolen by Eaton. Sorts the Suns taking the W in a close one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, KD. Huge night for you offensively. What was the mentality? I'm I put on the gas trying to get the money, trying to score. Um, especially when we down that many points and we can't generate enough offense that fast. I'm trying to get to it. Um, so tonight, you know, it was so different. I felt the energy was down, so I tried to do something to help my team out on the offensive side of the ball and defense. And, I mean, I can't say enough about the rest of the guys that get this W. And they followed your lead to that W, man. Thanks. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton.